Ladies and gentlemen, we cannot close the year 2023 without congratulating Luca Galarraga again for being in the top 50. I don't know how you do it, my friend, but it's a fantastic work. But I would like to also congratulate to everybody else who took part in this beautiful international aquatic plants layout contest. We had seen many colorful works, uh, many styles in the top 100, above the top 100. So it's a great contest. But Today, we are working on Luca's tank, and this is me a couple of weeks ago. Behind me, you see the workshop tank that Luca has built, and it's time for maintenance. Welcome to the beautiful world of maintenance. So let me see what we have to do. We, because I have a help here, here, his name is Amit. He's coming from the UK. Please come in. Hello, Banash. You dropped by today. You have an aquarium channel about aquascaping and about nature aquariums. That's right, I do, and, yes, Banash. And, and I just wanted to shout out to you a little bit. We are working on uh, Luca's tank. Brilliant. A uh, big maintenance session, and Luca has sent me some guidelines. And before we begin, I will ask Amit to help us with uh, cleaning some plants. I have a list of four things that I have to do and I have my iPad for that. I usually always start with uh, checking out the uh, workshop video or the original video when I'm doing a maintenance to see what was the original state of the aquarium. Here you see mostly the hardscape with some plants in it but the plants are still small and here you see the fully grown state. The hardscape is being covered by plants with time and as plants grow they cover more of the hardscape and more and and you don't have that detail anymore so you need to bring back some detail. Let's step into what uh, Luca's ideas were. Those are all big and beautiful improvements to the scape in overall. Uh, you will see how this tank looks now in a full shot and you will see how it looks after we finish the trimming just a couple of days after we finish the trimming by the end of this video i hope to make a smaller trimming changes to add a little bit more detail but that's going to only be visible if you look at the tank in detail for a longer time so without further ado let's start working luca told me for example that i need to plant this uh, stem by stem oh that's the brazilian way to do it I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm, <laughs> I was going to say. I'm, I'm too uh, European you, for that. Do you want me to open them stem by stem? <laughs> no, I'm too European <laughs> for that. Instant results, my friend. Yeah. We need to take out some water. I'm just removing an inch or two. There you go. The first picture is about uh, the stem plants in the background. Uh, we want to trim the left side of the tank to have this very accentuated receding line. And the receding line should just touch the top of the of the main rock right here so no stems should grow above it to keep this high peak visible and to keep the white background behind it visible we can net out all the plants that float up to the surface usually the stem plants are floating up to the surface and then select the better parts of them because what we're going to do is use the top off method which means that the beautiful tops will be pushed in between the stems you're on vacation in budapest right now or yes that's right yeah I'm so on vacation. it's a perfect chilling relaxing vacation yep. program exactly i have to tell you guys that this was like an impulse uh, uh, moment uh, for me absolutely. to invite you into into this we never planned this i need to stop the filter i guess because yeah. right now it started sucking in the small ones we need to have a receding line from the back to the front because usually when the stem starts like a wall like this this is the front and it starts like this, it's not beautiful. So I prefer to trim the stems in an angle when you're looking at it from the front so that you have a graduation towards the back. That looks much, much better. I really love the Iwagami as well, but I want to invent something to make the trimming and the cleanup easier. <laughs> well, um, like use, uh, use slow growing plants like uh, <laughs> I like Marcele Hirsuta, that's a quite nice card. Like plant. Granata Hirsuta, yeah. those are small ones. See, right now, see how the, uh, the smaller rock in the background got some light? You can actually see that through the camera. It used to be like this, see? Now it's like that.
I will ask Amit to, to help me with the selection so that we can replant the longer ones. Okay, so moving on, this is a very fragile plant. It needs to be trimmed stem by stem, I can already tell. I'm just removing everything from here and that reveals those rocks over here. So you need to be very careful with what you do around the focus point of the aquarium in the back. So you have a continuation between the line that's receding from the left, the back left of the aquarium, all the way to the uh, midpoint, the center point. And you have no stems visible on the right side of the main stone. Let's continue with the erectus, the green pogo at the back, to have like a wave kind of line, which is okay to start behind the uh, back right rock and it goes together with the right side of the secondary rock formation all the way to the right side of the aquarium and then it flattens out completely you can feel the sense of quietness when you're working and the sense of a concentration. I mean, that's the whole beautiful thing that I like about aquascaping, how it focuses your attention. It's almost meditative. Second task is to trim the pogostemo so that we reveal the rock that is behind it. I can just hold the stems in a bunch and then push them down. That helped. I might want to add something in between these two. Next thing that we have to do to remove the blixa from the right side of the tank, this is the red blixa, very beautiful one, which is a very fragile plant. If I start pulling that out, then a big cloud of soil and, and dust is gonna come out yeah. of the soil. Mm. So I will ask you to help me to hold this suction hose. We need to remove this whole thing and move it to the center of this whole scape, right there in between those two rocks. Oh, oh Luca wow. is good. He knows, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing, doesn't he? In that place, he wants us to plant the Rotala bonsai. yellowish, I have no idea why. But the problem is that the reactor is pushing in the CO2 through the uh, outlet of the filter, and the outlet of the filter is on the opposite side of the tank, so by the time that the water reaches here, there's not enough CO2 left for these guys. That's the reason that they don't thrive. So that needs to grow, looks like nothing at the moment. And the fourth thing that we need to do is do a sand path, actually do two sandy areas. The main sand path would stretch from the right side to the left side, and the second one would be in the foreground, just going up with the line of this valley, little valley. So what we have to do is move the sand from here all the way to the back until this uh, very beautiful uh, Bucephalandra, and then take it back here. So we need to remove a patch of plants from here. This contains sand and pebbles at the same time. I keep these rocks in like piles, not distribute them evenly. It looks like the water had washed them to a certain place. We could clean the rocks a little bit with this metallic brush to get rid of the uh, algae that is on them. I need to ask Luca whether he likes the uh, small patches of algae on the rocks or not. If you clean the rocks in the back, they will shine a lot more and the scale will be visible better. And 
And with that, we concluded the maintenance of this uh, tank. Big shout out to Aquabase in Brazil. Don't go anywhere because right now you are going to see how this tank looks in about one week. And uh, thank you, Amit, for your help. Thank you for you having great. me. Balash. It was great to have it. It was an inspi inspiring moment yeah. uh, to have you around, but I appreciate your help a lot, Nate. You're more than welcome. And thank you for having me. All right. So thanks, guys, for being here, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you.